Yo, yo, what's good, people? How y'all doing out there? It's your boy, Kelvin. We're behind the bench. Give a salute to everyone out there in the social media world. Hope y'all blessed. Give a salute to the other gentlemen in the group. JB, Jermaine, Rashad. Check out their videos and uh, hope you enjoy it. All right, I want to talk about a little something different. I know we normally talk about sports, but I want to talk about a little something different. I want to talk about I'll talk about music and um i just want to know what's going on with the new music the current music um is the current music is it dead is it dying out uh what's going on with the new music uh why are the artists not being creative um why are they not talking about current topics and events that's you know informing us about that um, I don't know what's going on with it. You know, I try to be very open minded. I don't, I don't try not to be this old guy hating on the new generation. I try to be very open minded and open to new ideas, new music, new athletes, new whatever. And there's a few artists, new artists that I like, but most of the new music that I hear is just not very good. It seems to be that the artists are just trying to make hit singles to go viral and they're not putting together, you know, quality collection of songs, quality albums, you know, songs and albums that's going to last years down the line. Like what album or song here in the last five, 10 years that you can consider classic? It could be any genre of music. Um, you see yourself listening to 10 years from now, 15 years, 20, 25, 30 years from now, hell, even five years, not much, if any, you know, uh, I do listen to mostly hip hop and R and B, but I listen to anything if it's good and, you know, salute to the, you know, some of the new artists that's making good music and salute to some of the old artists like a Nas, salute to Nas and hit boy. They've done a great job with their albums. Uh, they Nas has put out six quality albums the last few years, and that music gonna stand the test of time. Salute to him for the hard work that they've done. Salute to Hit Boy, he's a, a younger artist, and I don't hate. He's a great producer. You know they've done some fantastic work. But you know what else out there? You know uh, I'm gonna read something I saw on the internet. It's kind of startling, but I'm not surprised. And this is from The Atlantic. Uh, credit to them. It's an article they wrote last year, January 31st, 2022. It says, old songs now represent 70% of the U.S. music market, according to the latest numbers from the MRC data. 70% older music. Okay. And it says also those, I'm just going to skip over. It said those who make a living from new music, especially the endangered species known as the working musician should look at those fig figures with fear and tremble. But the news gets worse. The new music market is actually shrinking and all the growth in the market is coming from old songs. That's not good. That's not good. So there's no growth in the new music. And the growth is all coming from the old classic music. And hey, there's nothing wrong with listening to a classic album, classic songs from the past. Well, at some point, we got to move forward to the future. We need to be making new classic songs, new classic albums, you know, new classic anthems that we can listen to now and we can listen to in the future. You know, I love the old music. I still love, I listen still. Listen, Still listen to a lot of old hip hop. Listen to Tupac. I still listen to Nas, some of his old stuff. Old Jay Z and other, you know, Biggie. Rest in peace, the Pac and Biggie. Uh, I still listen to old R and B and old pop. Michael Jackson, Prince. Salute to both of them. Great artists, legendary artists. But who gonna be the new Michael Jackson? Who gonna be the new Prince? You know, we're going to keep going back to Thriller and Purple Rain, you know, and Michael Jackson bad. 
And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you know, I love them all, but who going to be the new Mike? You know, Chris Brown? Nah. Chris Brown, I can't name too many songs with Chris Brown. And Chris Brown not better than Michael Jackson. That's just my opinion. Y'all might disagree, and that's fine. But where's the new music? All the new music I hear is mostly trash. You know, my Beho Brown, my P Pink, and all this other type stuff from these these new artists like Homegirl. I don't know what's her name, Sukiana or something like that. I'm not sure, but you can't find nothing else to rap about besides your body. Yes, we had Little Kim and stuff like that. They had some vulgar raps and stuff like that back in the day in the 90s, but they also rapped about other things. Everything now I hear from women is just about their body and sex and stuff like that. Can you rap about something else? You know, and I'm just saying, like, where is the growth in the music? It doesn't seem to be none. And the data shows that that seems to be true. You know, now I'm sure there's some new artists that I'm missing that they, they don't promote. And y'all can comment some new artists that's putting out great music and I check it out. I'm very open minded, but the new music ain't hitting on nothing. I'm just just calling it like it is. So it forces me to go back and listen to the older music. I guess that's the same for everybody else. The new music ain't hitting on nothing. So even the young, you know, the younger kids, the younger generation, they have to go back and listen to older music. You know, I was talking to my buddy earlier and I just glanced at the top 200 albums currently on Billboard. And I say probably about 40% of that, 40 to 50% of that is old music. Like, hold on. Let me let me just go through, you know, Tupac, Greatest Hits, Michael Jackson, Thriller, The Eagles, Greatest Hits, Leonard Skinner, Greatest Hits. You know, all these old artists from back in the day. Biggie, Greatest Hits. Stevie Wonder, Greatest Hits. Uh, Bob Marley, Greatest Hits. George Strait, 50 Number Ones. Blink-182, that's a group from back in the 90s, I believe. Kanye West, Dark Twisted Fantasy. They came out, what, over 10 years ago? Kanye West, Graduation. You know, uh, Harlan Oates. Great music. You know, but that's from the 80s. That's a group from the 80s. You know, a lot of this music from the 70s and 80s. And Fleetwood Mac. You know, I'm just glancing through, you know, some of these albums I see on the top 200. Right now, Guns N' Roses, Greatest Hits. All this old music, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that, but where is the new stuff? Where are our new classics? Where is that at? Are we going to be constantly stuck in the past listening to old music? You know, where are new classics? Where are the new songs? That's going to take us into the future. I want to hear the next Thriller album. I want to hear the next Purple Rain album. I know those albums are iconic and they're not going to be hardly duplicated, but I want to hear another. I want to hear the new classic. That's what I'm saying. You know? So, you know, I, you know, I'm very disappointed. You know, I, did I have to go when I go out to the store and restaurants and stuff like that. I'm walking around and they playing music, you know, through their speakers and stuff, they system in the store. And I'm hearing Whitney Houston from the 80s, Michael Jackson, Prince, Madonna, and all these old songs, Bill Collins and stuff from the 80s, which is great. That's great timeless music, but should we listen to something new? I'm just saying, man, these new artists, and I ain't just talking about hip hop and R&B, I'm talking about all music. Y'all need to get on your job and put some new music out there. Take your time. Put a quality album out there that's going to last the test of time so we can embrace it and enjoy it. And we won't be talking about the past. We want to talk about the future. So, you know, that's it. That's all I want to say. You know, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Is the new music dead? Is the old music making a resurgence? Let me know. My name is Kelvin. I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Y'all be good. I'm out.